All right, we are back, 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 back in Daddy's kitchen. Hello, father and mother. Oh, Hello. Oh my gosh, mommy, it's been so long since you've been on the channel. We're so happy to be in the kitchen again with you guys. We love you. We are here. And you guys have been asking for mommy to be back on the channel for months. Mommy, when's the last time you were on the channel? A long time. A long time. A look how look how she pretty do. Mommy do a little 360. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Jeez. Okay, you guys. If mommy looks stunning, put it down in the comments. We want to know. Thank you for being here in the kitchen again with us in Daddy's Kitchen. We love you guys. You guys are the best audience ever. If you are new here, I am Sasha. You don't see me, but you hear me. And these are my parents. This is Daddy, Hi. and this is Mommy. And uh, Mommy is doing a guest feature in the kitchen today. And whenever Mommy comes into the kitchen, you know it's something I look special. Not true. Amen. Okay, so I'm not going to waste any time. If you are new here, please, I'm not going to pressure you. But feel free to subscribe. Leave us a comment. We'd love to speak back to you. Turn on your post notifications so that you can always be on the loop in the loop of what is happening in Daddy's kitchen. So, Daddy, I, well, both of you, actually. <laughs> Daddy and Mommy, without further ado, tell the people them where we are met today. Sorry. Jamaican sorrel cake. cake. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. I cannot. I, I actually cannot with you two. <laughs> Jamaican sorrel cake and my cousin Deanna is here with us too that's my family so if you hear her chuckling in the back she is in the kitchen as well we are about to make this masterpiece so that so mommy people have been asking about this sorrel cake for a minute for long a very long time, time long so time. I'm really excited that we're finally getting to it so please just lead us straight into how we start okay so it's sorrel cake so we have the sorrel this is the dried sorrel, which is really, really rich. Okay, so it's um we got this brand at the Caribbean store. Mm -hmm. Okay, sun dried sorrel. Delight. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing open these packages and I'm gonna be washing them first. Okay. Sorry, okay? that's Caribbean delight is the brand. Yeah, actually. Caribbean Caribbean delight. Yes. yes, Caribbean delight. Oh, I'm gonna borrow Daddy big knife here. Yeah. See. Yeah. You guys, what is proven? What is proven in this? If you know me, what what did mommy just prove? Oh, she just oh. proved that Jamaicans they will only open a bag with a knife. They will not open it the way it's supposed to be open. Yeah, and then <laughs> this is how they open bags. Okay, then he's like, ah, oh, hush. Okay, it's open, right? All right, yes. And that's for the garbage. I'm gonna bring it over to the sink here. And I'm just gonna be washing it with some cold water. Okay. You guys already know what it is. Rub a dub dub in everybody's tub. Yeah. And it's okay. good to do it in the colander because you, at least it drains as you're washing it, right? Yeah. To get rid of the extra water. So with cold water is recommended. Cold water. Okay. I mean, during the um, the, the holiday season, like Christmas time. Um, we have the fresh sorrel, but for now we 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 only have the dried one. Okay. So that's what we're gonna be using. Okay. Okay. And we, it, this is two packs. Two packs. Okay. Clean. Make sure it's clean. Get any sand or anything that is in it. Any impurities. Rinse it off. Okay. And I think that's good enough there. All right, okay. all right, all right. Let's get rid of the extra water. Just gonna put it under a plate so I don't drip it across the kitchen. Okay, so I am gonna be going to the pot over here, okay. which I have boiling. Okay. So you had it boiling yeah, before? Yeah, I had it boil. It's boiling still. Okay. okay. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be putting. I'm gonna be putting the sorrel into this pot. Okay. Okay. And the, and it's on the pot is on high. The fire, the heat is on high. 
okay? Just get a spoon here. Okay, right? And then I'm gonna be adding to the sorrel some orange peel, okay? Here's the orange peel. I'm gonna be adding a stick of cinnamon. There you go, cinnamon. And then I'm gonna be putting some ginger in it also. All right, I'll stir those in. Stir it in. And I'll add a cup of sugar. Not too much sugar because the cake is gonna have sugar. So I'll, since it's too packed, because sorrel is a has a little tarty taste. Yes. Okay, so you wanna get rid of, uh, rid of that a bit. So I'm gonna be putting one cup of sugar in okay. it. Okay. Okay. And there's the cup. And that's brown sugar. And that's brown sugar, but you can use white sugar, whatever sugar you prefer. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just gonna let this boil up for a little bit. And then afterwards, I'm gonna just turn the, the, the stove off and then I'm gonna just leave it for at least three to four hours. So okay. it can like soak in like... Yeah, so it's soaking and I can get everything out of the sorrel, okay? Cause I won't be blending blending the, the parts of the sorrel. I'll be using just the liquid okay. in my cake. Okay. okay. So it's just the liquid. Yeah, but some people use blend um, puree of the actual, the, the actual flour. Yes, the actual um, sorrel. Okay. okay. But I'm going to be using the liquid. Okay. okay. And if you're unfamiliar with what sorrel um, is, mommy, explain what it is. It's like what? Like hibiscus? It's similar. It's similar to hibiscus, but it's one of our Jamaican specialties yes. that we use um, during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. We have a really good drink, sorrel mm -hmm. drink, and it's just awesome. You know? And we already have a yeah. tutorial on yeah. the channel, but we'll probably be doing another one this yes. year. And, so. and you know, we always, we always put our Jamaican rum in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our Jamaican rum, maybe some Wincarnis wine, whatever wine that you want. Okay. I take, I use a lot of Jewish wine. So this is one, one of them Manischewitz wine. Okay. And I do use Mogan David also. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right. So these we will use later. Okay. When we're mixing up you know, our fruits and all of that. Okay. Okay. So right. for right now, for we're right boiling. now, we're gonna let that boil up for a bit, and then we're gonna turn it off. Approximately, how long would you say that it's how gonna, long boil, we're gonna bef boil it for? Before you turn it off, yeah, we can boil it for at least say say fifteen minutes. Okay, and okay. then you turn it off, and, and let then it turn sit. it off, and let it sit for a couple of hours, so that we get all of that redness into that fluid, because I'm gonna be using that fluid to mix with my fruits. Mm -hmm. Right, and then I'm gonna put my flour and all my stuff in so that we can um, have a cake. Yeah, right. All right. Okay. What you think about that? Oh, mercy. <laughs> She's in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah man. We get to eat cake. We love it. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll be back. Okay. So it's been a few minutes, yeah. and look already, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's all red, that deep red already. And I was afraid that if you washed it up beforehand that maybe it would take away some of that. No, my, my... no. Look at that. So by later on, we, we, we let, let it sit for about three hours, three hours or so. And then by later on, it will be even deeper red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll strain it off and mix our fruits in it and then get cracking with our cake. Yes, get okay. cracking with our cake. Mommy, yeah. you look stunning. Yep, thank oh, you. Geez. Twinsy. <laughs> but you know, I look stunning because she looks just like me, people. Ah. <laughs> she looks just like me. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Then you'd probably be like, no, she looks like me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I definitely do look like mommy. Yeah. Diana, do you think I look like mommy? Yeah. That, that, that was a, yeah, that was more of like a, yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. all right we'll be back yep. after it sits okay hi guys so this is our sorrel that was has been sitting in the pot 
for about um, at least four hours. Okay. Okay. Some people would rather do it if you have the time to do it overnight. We did it for about four hours, okay. as I showed you. So now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be straining it into this pan. Okay. So we're going to ask Daddy to strain it out into this pan and make sure that none of the pits or anything um, goes into it. Come and we go wrong. Okay. Thank All right. you for your help, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Let me want somebody for this, you know. Okay, I can hold it. You go that yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you need little help. So if you guys are doing this, you might need somebody. See, see how red it is now? Wow. Oh, it smells so nice. Yep. Yeah. Smells like sorrow. Real reddens. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be mixing the fruits into this when we get there. Okay. The fruits is going to be incorporated into this. And then when the batter is um, done, we're going to incorporate it in with the flour and all of that. Okay. Okay. So this is so that we can say we have sorrel cake. This is the flavor that we're going for. We're going for sorrel flavor. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. I've never had a sorrel cake before, so I'm ready to yeah. experience it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready also. I've I've tasted it before and it's been really good. Okay. Yeah. So let's see how ours Daddy's Kitchen sorrel cake. <laughs> let's see how it turns yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. So here we are again. We're we're doing two pounds for the solid the sorrel cake. Okay. So I have two pounds of butter. This is unsalted butter. Okay, so I'll just put it in here. So what happens if you don't have a mixer? Can you mix this with, I guess you yes, have to mix yes, with Yes, 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 yes. I grew up with, we didn't have a mixer when we were growing up. So we had to um, use the big spoon. My sister Sheila has a big wooden spoon and the big pudding pan. And that's when she would, we'd take turns and um, help her mix it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, for each pound of butter, which one of these is two cups of sugar. So I'm going to put two cups here and another two cups of brown sugar. Of brown sugar. You can use whatever sugar you want. Okay. You can use, um, granulated sugar if you want also. Okay. okay? And then I'm just going to turn it on so that it will start mixing. Okay, and we want we want to mix it properly so that all the um, all the sugar grains, all the sugar grains are when? all dissolved. Okay. Okay. And that will take a little while to to be done. Approximately how long do you think? Um, I would say give it an hour. Wait, an hour of it spinning like this? <laughs> Really? Because we want we want the we want the grains to go out like totally dissolved and get a like a, a fluffy more fluffy um, smooth consistency. Okay. 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 And you know the brown brown sugar is uh, the, the grains are bigger and coarser. Okay. So yeah, and you occasionally just use your spatula and you know shove the, shove everything in there, scoop it in. Like the stuff on the side. Yeah, the stuff on the side. Okay. okay. So that will that will just keep continue. Doing keep doing that until that's done. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the progress of the butter and the sugar. Yeah, it's, it's it, yeah, it's getting creamier and creamier. It's so interesting yeah. how at first I'm like, how is it gonna turn out that way, and then. You turn yeah. your back and come back and look. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's really, but we just want it more smooth, smoother. That when we feel it, we don't, we shouldn't be feeling the, um, the sugar, the sugar grains. Okay. Okay. I feel like over there a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And the mixer is doing its job. We're gonna do the dry ingredients. We're gonna run them, them through the sieve. Okay, so I have the flour here. 
I'm actually using um, the Red Mill, um, Bob's Red Mill um, all-purpose flour, unbleached flour. Um, it's really good for baking. Okay. So I'm going to be using that. Okay. Okay, so it's two pounds of um, butter. So I'm doing four cups of flour here. I'm just going to run it through the sieve. I can ask Diddy to do that. So why do you have to do that? Well, well just, just, to, just if, if there's any lumps or anything in it, we just want to make sure it's really smooth. Interesting. Yeah. Dry okay. ingredients I have is the nutmeg. Mm -hmm. I have the baking powder. We use the magic. And we have cinnamon. Okay. Um, this is the wet wet ingredients. The red. There's a teaspoon of salt in here. Okay. Okay. There's a tablespoon of um, nutmeg. Um, there's eight um, teaspoons of baking powder. And then I have um, a, a teaspoon of cinnamon powder okay and then i have a tablespoon of mix essence mm -hmm. and i have two tablespoon of vanilla okay okay All and right. you know how it goes you know we taste and see how if it's short we just add a little bit more okay. you know according to our taste okay? okay and this is some lemon rind which we're gonna be putting in afterwards okay. okay 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 so i'm just gonna pour them through the strainer all the dry ingredients, sift them through, baking powder, and salt. So that's all our dry ingredients in there. Okay. No clumps, no lump. No clumps, no lump. All right. This is our sorrel mixture that I have here. Okay, and I'm gonna be mixing my fruits, which I blended. Okay, I blended some of the fruits that I've been soaking from since last December. Okay, so we soak it with rum and wine and all of that. And so we what just kind of it. fruits is this? So it's um, raisins, okay. um, mix, uh, mixed fruits, mixed peels. Um, uh, we have um, prunes okay. in it. Okay. And you've been soaking this since December? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Now, do they have to be soaking something from December, or? Well, it's up to them. You get a, a nicer flavor when you soak it longer. Okay. okay. But you can actually stew it on the stove. Like if you didn't have any, you could get your wash your fruits and stew it on on the stove in some wine and rum. Okay. okay? And then blend it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pour in the, mixing the fruits into the, the mixture that I have here. Just mix it into the sorrel. Okay, because remember our egg mixture and our flour and everything is gonna be mixed into this. Okay. Okay. And if I find that I need some more fruits, I'll put more fruits in it. Okay. Okay. And you have some more of the sorrel drink over there as well. So if you need more if liquid. If I need more, but I think I, I think I think we have a lot of liquid here. Okay. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll see if I can just put a little bit and just rinse out that blender. Can't leave it in behind. Yeah. Just. It smells amazing already. Yeah. Now we are snutting. Nothing goes to waste. So that's all the fruits with the um Sorrel? with the sorrel, the sorrel mix. Okay, I break most of the heads already. So I leave two just to show you how I do it. Mm -hmm. Three light taps. I do this because I want to get the the eye of the egg out of it because if you don't 
You let make the cake smell raw. Really? Yes. So this is the high. Is that a real thing or is that it, like? Yeah, well, that's the a real thing. The high has a, a, a name. We, <laughs> so they had told us online. I can't remember what it, what the name was. Yeah. But that little white thing. You guys call it, has it the a name. <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. what? You guys call it the eye. Yes. And if you leave it in there, it's going to smell raw. Uh -huh. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of our sins. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, is this like a going myth <laughs> over, over, over years and years, or is it for real? But... It is for real. Yeah, okay. and that's why, and that's why we always put the lemon peel, uh, lemon rind into it, just to cut the rawness of okay. the egg. Okay. Okay. I didn't find any of this one. It's good. This one never bond with my eye. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. So how many eggs is this? So this is two dozen eggs. For each pound of cake, you want at least a dozen egg. You mean I six mean, eggs? A dozen. A dozen? A dozen oh. eggs per pound. Oh, so it's 12. So yeah. 12, 20, 12 oh. eggs, 24 eggs. 24 eggs. Yeah, so this is 24 eggs. Does that make it half of a dozen or is it a dozen? Okay, no, so it's one dozen. Pound. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Wow. 24 yeah. egg. Yeah. Fully. Yeah. So let's look at look at this over here. Look at it. Look at look at look at what's going on here. Look. It's getting all nice and fluffy, right? Wow, you guys. Yeah. Look at the transformation. Yeah. Interesting. Getting all nice there. Baking is yeah. a whole other world. I'm just gonna feel to see. Well, it's getting finer and finer. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it. So it's doing really, really good. And it's doing it fast, less than an hour. Yeah, definitely looks like it'll be less than an hour. Mm -hmm. It's whipping it up. Mm -hmm. oh, and, and, oh. and the mixer was at what level? It, the mixer was at, just at two. Yeah, between one and two. Okay. I want this cake to be cooked nice and slow. Plus, I'm going to be putting some water in the bottom of the oven. Okay, when we're ready, I'm going to be pouring some water in there, some boiling water, so okay. that it, the cake will actually steam. Okay. Okay? All right? And I'm going to be putting the oven at about, um, I'll put it at two, 275. Okay. 275, so it just goes nice and slow. Okay? okay. So... I'll just let the So this is what you should be doing in the meantime. In the meantime. Setting your stove up while everything is, you know, stirring. Yeah. So two. And then daddy. Yes. What are you doing over here? I'm gonna butter these pan, grease them. Grease them, butter yeah. them. Yes. Why are you doing now, that? It won't stick. To stop it from sticking. Yeah. Okay. So what I do, I use the cover of the butter. Okay. Very resourceful. Yes. Like that. So that's what the butter came out of. Yes. Nothing waste, man. Nothing waste. All the mercy. Mm. Okay, it's a great grease pan, all right? And you just do that for the remaining pans yes. that you have. Yeah, three pans, so. And I make that's... cake, man. Tree kick. Tree kick. Tree. We have our next one. Talk about resourceful. Yeah, man. There it goes. pan a little bit yeah just put a little bit of flour okay and just do this with your pan 
just to prevent your cake from sticking, okay? And then I'll dust the extra out there. And I just do the same for the other one. Remember the butter is already in it. We, we um, grease the pan already. So the flour is adhering to the butter that's in there. You just shake off the extra. And then I'll do this one. this it's almost there like it's really fluffy here now mm -hmm. looks really good it looks really pretty yeah really nice and all this is is butter and brown sugar right yep that's all it is the base of a cake butter and sugar Interesting. Okay. You tasting it? Yeah, just to see it. Mm. It's almost no grain in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, look. It's basically um, mixed out smooth um, within half an hour. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing now. I am going to be putting in the eggs. Remember we said we're using two dozen eggs because it's a dozen egg per pound. Okay. And we're doing two pounds. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the eggs over here. So we are going to do, do like small amount. Even if when you, yeah, when you, um, when you put the eggs, it might look a bit curdly, but it's okay. Just, um, do them two, like two eggs at a time. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So All right. here, Daddy is gonna put the egg in the first. Okay, and we're just gonna let that mix that out. See, it's getting a bit curdly because we put the egg in. Okay. I'm gonna even. I'm gonna put my lemon rind into it also. Okay. Okay. So we you, each time each. Hold on a minute. Each time you put the eggs in, you give it a little time so that it can just mix out. Okay. And then you put the other two. Okay? okay. All right. So he can put another two now. Okay. So you just wait until it mix. And we're going to be doing that. We have 24 eggs to go. So we've been doing, we're going to be doing that. And then when we're done, we're just gonna let it stay there, mix it out, and let it come smooth. Okay. Okay? All right, and then we'll be able to add it to our, our, our mix. Okay. Okay? I'm excited All to right. see how this goes. Yeah, so he can put another two there. And just use your spatula and, you know, get help, it in there. Help the science. Mm -hmm. Kitchen aid mixer is good, you know. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I was yeah. like, look at the fancy mixer. Mm -hmm. And so it took about half an hour, you said, right? Let me at least, it yeah, came out yeah, yeah, yeah. About thirty to thirty-five minutes, so less than an hour, you guys, before it was smooth. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys finish up, and then we'll be back. Okay. For the next step. Okay. okay guys so the egg the egg and flour and sugar mixture is completed so I'm gonna be putting it into our sorrel and fruit mixture okay. okay all right so we're just gonna pour it pour it right in just pour it in 
I'm just going to keep stir it in. Use a spatula. Yeah, I'm good. Use a spatula to scoop it in. Okay, so I'm just going to incorporate it in with the sorrel and fruit mixture. I'm going to incorporate that in. Okay, and I have, I have my um, flour here. Okay, that I put all the dry ingredients in already. So I'm gonna just little by little. Daddy. So we're just gonna cut and fold the flour in little by little. You can pour a little bit more. Just cut and fold. Cut and fold. Interesting. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. So work out all in itself, huh? Yeah. We have a hand mixer. We can use that too. Yeah, can go make this season, guys. I can feel it. I know you guys are eyes on the screen right now. Because that's the exact same way everyone went crazy for the rum cake. So... Pour the mixed essence in and the vanilla. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <A> baker. <laughs> She said, let me do it. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to put some extra fruits in this. Okay. okay. I find our color seems to be not as dark as we want it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So what I, what I did, I used some of the actual um, sorrel um, to see if we could get something out of it. Not sure what we're going to get. <laughs> but don't These know are the walls of yeah. baking in a kitchen just not turning out how we want the color that we want because mm -hmm. we wanted a red color a red color Which... but i don't know if it's the type of sorrel that we used or what it is but it's not as coming red as, as like. red as like on we the would camera like. you guys can't really see a hundred percent but the color is like a faintish, like a, a faintish pinkish pinkish yeah but like yeah and uh i we don't have any coloring at home so we could put a, some coloring in it it tastes good it tastes but it's amazing. not getting the color that we really really want well that's you know? also why daddy's kitchen is so special yeah because you guys get to experience it with us you know yeah tastes good and everything you know, but we're gonna bake it still and see what 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 comes how it, comes, turns, out. How it turn, turns out. Yeah, you know, it smells amazing. Yeah, we tried. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> nice. we 
blend up some of the sorrel in it and it seems as if we're getting some sort of color right coming along yeah coming along yeah appears that we are getting some color a labor of love i tell you that's the best that we can do with this we're gonna put it in the oven and see what comes of it <laughs> hey guys this is the color that we got okay okay it's not a deep red we were expecting a deep red but i guess we're not able to get that color that's okay. but it's like a, a little pinky so hopefully like when it comes brown. out yeah hopefully when it comes out we'll see all right so we're just gonna put that put it into the baking tins and we're gonna bake them and i'm i set the oven i want it on a low okay i want it about 275 but my oven keeps giving me 300 i don't know why okay okay but the slower you can bake it is the better okay so it's like we put water in the oven and let it steam okay okay so i think that's good yeah. a little bit more maybe a little bit more okay. okay okay so that's the first one can you move that please you're gonna go to oven okay Hi. And here we go, the second one. It smells so good, guys. I know it's gonna taste really good just based off of the smell alone. So approximately how long does it usually take to cook in the oven, Mommy, are you thinking? Well. I think it should take at least two to three hours. Okay. Yeah, to bake. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're doing it really slow. Okay. Okay. And you want to do it slow. Yes. That's the best way to keep it moist, right? Yeah. Okay. one our last one that's it mm -hmm. now into the oven we go yep now we're gonna put them in the oven I think what's left we'll put it in in some um, muffin tins or something a smaller pot mm -hmm. first one is in all three inside with some water in the bottom in the pan for steaming purposes okay, okay. and then we close the oven Okay, and 8.42, um, in an hour we'll check, see how it's doing, mm -hmm. and um, hopefully within two hours or so, two, two and a half hours. Should be good. It should be good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we wait. Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay, so the, the cake, uh, I think they are ready. Really? Yeah. They smell so good. Yeah, they, yeah. Look at this one. This is the first one here at the top. I'm gonna check to see if it's baked. I'm gonna. Yep, yeah, that's done. Okay, it's number one there, and then the other two that we had in here 
Okay, let me check. Yep, that's done too. And then the other one. Yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's supposed to come out clean. If it doesn't come out clean, then it's not big. Wait, already, let, right? me, let me um just poke it again. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you think it's baked? Do you think it's ready? This would be early because this was supposed no, to be your this first. one. Uh-huh. No. Not done. Mm -mm. First check. Okay. Still so needs we, to bake. Yeah. So it needs a little bit more time. Okay. We'll put her back in. And then, Errol, can we get some more water? Oh, there's water in there. Okay. All right. So, maybe need another 20 minutes or so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the nice one, you know, the nice. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's a, it's Looking good. A <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. Mercy. I can't. You guys oh need to get your other God. children to do yeah. this. I can't. Oh my God. I mean, it's beautiful, but oh, guys. All of you guys watching, there you go. Okay? This, apparently, Daddy said all of this is because the kit them nice. Okay? So, this is how the cakes turned out. So, so mommy talk to me. Wow, 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 wow. So as you, as you guys um, noticed, we were making the sorrel cake. The color didn't come out as how we wanted it, but now after it's been cooled and everything, it's cooled, the color just looks so much better. Yeah, we so, thought it was gonna so, be like very, very light, but. Yeah, so much better. Look yeah. at this one up here. like like so much better you know and the taste we tasted yes. we did a small one and we tasted it last night mm, to die for right exactly yes so when Very i tasted tasty. it that's when i was like oh okay i don't care if it's red or not okay. yeah it's the just oh is my god busting yeah. okay so right. what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be just mixing some wine this is you know my jewish wine as usual mogan david and you know i use right many shepherds right so it's Mogan David, David okay. okay, right? So it's a sweet um, red wine used for bacon and other things. So I'm just gonna combine some of that wine in this bottle here, okay? And I'm gonna put some wing carnis in it. Don't have much wing carnis left, so I'm just gonna use that out. Okay. Okay, that's our kind of wine. I mix that in, okay? And then I'm gonna put some white rum. You know, the strong stuff, Jamaican white rum, Jerry and a view. <laughs> we can't drink it. I am not a drinker, <laughs> but this is very tasty when you put it into your cakes or anything. And Just a little bit, you put it in and it goes a long way. And your Jamaican pride jumped out when yes, you were advertising it. for it. Jerry and all of the nephew of them in it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some into it just to combine it. Okay. Take some more, man. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> okay. And what I'm gonna be doing with this, I'm just gonna shake it up, make sure it comes together there. And then I'm gonna just be wetting all the cakes with it. Okay. Okay, so you can do that um, occasionally. And then after you do that, that you either take a stretch and seal, stretch and seal, and cover it nicely. Okay. Okay. So, so you say occasionally. So you. So so like if you if you have it and you're gonna be keeping it for a while, right? Okay. You have to wet this cake at least say once a month or something like that, and cover it tightly, mm -hmm. tightly, or so that you can keep moist. that you can keep it for longer. Okay. And if you want to keep it for long, 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 you can put it in your freezer. Right? And yeah, and keep it there. Okay? And then when you're ready, you just take it out of the freezer, tie it out. Right? And um, and 
wet it again and you can eat it okay? okay so here's the other one over here just wetting it with that mixture and it's it, don't worry if it's you know it will soak right into It'll the go cake all around all into the cake yeah so don't worry if you see it just lag in there for a bit it'll make its way around yes it will make its way into into the cake okay okay all right all right so, so what does that mean mommy does that mean that the cake is done i think so i i really think so i feel like you for know? your first sorrel cake yeah i think this is pretty amazing because it tastes phenomenal yes it so tastes really, really second good. time around we'll figure out how to get, to get it, it really red, really, really red, red. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions and you if you've made sorrel cake before or if you have an idea drop it down in the comments it's a family here. Remember, we are we teaching are one. We are family. Yes, we are. <laughs> each one, teach one. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's it. And, okay. I, and we are never too old to learn. Mm -hmm. Once you stop learning in life, you're dead, really. Mm -hmm. Every day is a learning experience, you Very know. Much. So I take that and I and we just run with it. All right. Okay. I'm excited. All right. But it's totally delicious, guys. So it's delicious. Really, really You guys delicious. have to make yours. Really. All right. Well, they can try their piece because we're about to cut them theirs, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So Daddy's going to cut a piece of this cake. I think we're going to cut this one. Ooh, this one. Pretty. Yeah. Still has the, yeah. But it's okay. We'll cut it so that, in. yeah, it will make its way Go in into the cracks. In, exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so guys, don't worry. We're about to cut your slice right now. Yep. Whoa, why him cut one big slice, boy? <laughs> yeah, look how much Whoa. people watching me. Wow. My subscribers. They deserve my subscribers. Yeah. yeah, they deserve big piece. Remember, guys, I told you Daddy loves to, um, has a heavy hand. <laughs> heavy hand. Heavy. Yeah. Okay, there. Oh, there's your piece. Ooh. Wow. Guys, can you not tell how moist that piece of cake is? Mm. Get into it. Wow. Come on. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. And it will get a bit drier, a little let's bit drier, the, just because we have the, this case. We, because we cut it, we have the, um, the wine in it. But, oh my gosh. But the wine, honestly, it's a nice touch. Like, yes. it's a nice, like... It's like not moist undercooked. It's like very moist, but then with the with the wine, it gives like a little pop of flavor. Come mm -hmm. on! Wow, it looks so tasty. It is very tasty. Yeah. So are we gonna eat some so yeah. that they will see? <laughs> oh yes. yes. But you can't have their slice. Oh. I'm just catching them like yeah. they're not, I'm literally just catching them I can't okay I, let me start again come closer so these two lovebirds are trying a piece guys so let's see Wagwan let's see the real deal let's see let's see look how moist that was Ooh. okay Ay! Oh. <laughs> This is a family mm. channel here, you two. Mm. Mm -mm. It's delicious. Me know, me try mm. piece, me teeth piece last night. Whoa. <laughs> mm -mm. Wow. 
Oh, it's warm. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Blessing, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, a mm -hmm. sorrow cake. Mm -mm. You did it, that. It is so delicious. Shout out to you, mommy. Wow. And Oswald. And Ted. My helper. Oh. Mm -mm. Ah! Okay, I'm going back here. Okay, before YouTube block, we will love you guys. We will love on your family. <laughs> Bye. Ooh.